Hope everybody had a good lunch. Um, uh, our first speaker is going to be uh, Dr. Sung Hoon No, uh, predicting mechanical complications after adult spinal deformity. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Uh, good afternoon. Yeah. It's, it's very uh, sleepy after lunch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, but my topic is uh, maybe interesting to you. And uh, uh, I'm uh, Song Hyun No from South Korea. And my major is uh, deformity surgery and uh, AI studies. So I read many articles about the CRISPR Ames, Professor Ames. So it is very, uh, I, I respect your article. Yes, so. Uh, yeah, no disclosure. As you know, uh, according to the aging, yeah, loss of low doses compensated by perirotroversion. But uh, when inefficient compensation, the deflection occurred to maintain balance. Uh, in that case, uh, when the balance is broken and other spinal deformity occurs, so this is a 70 years old female and she had a coronary and sagittal imbalance. So I do the other spinal deformity surgery with uh, lateral body diffusion, L3, 4, 5, and PLIP, L5, S1, and uh, T10, uh, T9 to LIA posterior fusion. Uh, this paper is very uh, interesting to me. Uh, Chris, Professor Ames and, uh, published uh, a review article about the artificial intelligence for other spine deformity in 2019 in, in neurospine. Uh, this paper uh, introduced the many uh, several articles using the AI in ASD surgery. Uh, first topic is a deep learning approach for automatic point detection and sagittal alignment analysis in whole spine x-ray. Uh, as you know, uh, there are so many parameters to measure in whole spine. So uh, in this article, uh, it, it, this article published in this year, uh, Professor Hasegawa uh, <coughs> reported the normative value of standing whole spine sagittal alignment parameters in healthy adults. And 317 healthy adults included. And he had, uh, she, he used the EOS. So, uh, yeah, there is so many parameters to write a well paper. So it, this is a, a, a cervical inclination angle. Uh, Professor Luhek uh, reported in Eurospine. So maybe in the future, there are many, many parameters we may measure to uh, in whole spine x-ray. So as you know, uh, Many spine surgeons use this program. I used this program and surgery map. Uh, but the limitation of the surgery map is uh, uh, when the person uh, draw a dot, uh, the program uh, measures the angle. So uh, there are many, uh, in recent years, there are many uh, articles using the AI, uh, measuring the uh, parameters in AI, with AI. So, uh, deep learning approach for automatic landmark detection and alignment analysis in a whole spine lateral radiograph. And uh, AI uh, take uh, that in the whole, uh, in the each vertebral body with uh, 45 points and he, uh, the program automatically measure the whole spine parameter. Yeah, the, so our study, the, the purpose of this study to evaluate the performance of novel uh, deep learning tool for fully automated measurement of the site of spine parameter from the x-rays. So we used the 3,000 uh, horse spine x-ray and uh, 2,100 x-ray uh, used the uh, train set and 900 uh, x-ray used the test set and uh, uh, external validation is performed with 800 x-ray. So we uh, make a new model. Yeah, uh, we use the uh, uh, VGG program for uh, take uh, uh, 92 points, uh, you know, one horse spine x-ray and uh, uh, 
the three researchers uh, took the same X-ray. So you use the uh, unit algorithm. Uh, this is the architecture. So yeah, uh, I do the this program for the public. So uh, as you uh, through the, this site, you every any can a, anyone can use this program. So. Yeah, I show you the uh, video how it works. Uh, for the measuring the horse spine X-ray, uh, we prepare the daikon file, yeah, X-ray, and uh, when the daikon file uploading the this program, and the program recognize the X-ray, and then uh, when you press the button of the subcore uh, parameter uh, analyzing parameters and then yeah AI uh, took a point and then uh, you see the uh, whole parameter whole spine parameters on the right side of the table so yeah when uh, when the point is uh, uh, incorrect the researcher correct uh, point so it is very uh, usable for the measure, measuring the horse pie. So uh, I compare the surgery map and the AI, and uh, uh, my program is better than the accuracy than the surgery map. So, but the uh, AI always do the uh, measuring the X-ray because uh, this picture is uh, uh, difficult to uh, per, uh, to measure the person by person, so AI is do that. So it is, it is uh, know that this uh, difficulty. Second uh, topic is a deep learning based for automated segmentation of regional muscle volume using MRI. Uh, the European Working Group on Sarcopenia uh, uh, reported the European census consensus of definition and diagnosis of sarcopenia. Uh, they that, uh, they reported the criteria for the diagnosis of sarcopenia. Uh, one is a low muscle mass. The second is a low muscle strength, and the low uh, last is a low uh, physical performance. And uh, they divided the three category: pre sarcopenia, sarcopenia, severe sarcopenia. Uh, they recommend the tool for the CD and MRI and DEXA and BIA for the uh, muscle mass and the hand, hand grip strength for the muscle strength and the time get up to go test for the uh, physical performance. So uh, recently, uh, the most widely used uh, examining method is CD. Uh, CT, in CT, uh, skeletal muscle index is defined as a uh, total gross sectional skeletal muscle mass normalized by height. But the uh, CT have a limitation. Uh, first, is, uh, it is difficult to distinguish be between the muscle when measuring the with the CT, and it is difficult to assess intramuscular quality of the CT. But the MRI can accurately classify each muscle and distinguish intramuscular fat. So uh, in this year, uh, Korean uh, sarcopenic group uh, reported a guideline. So they recommend the DEXA and BIA for the uh, muscle mass. In this paper, uh, they say that uh, in the future, uh, the use of direct muscle mass measurement will become popular in the future. So maybe, uh, this year, th recently, the tool of the, the measuring the muscle is very superficial. So maybe in the future, yeah, the direct measuring tool will be popular. So this, uh, this uh, in our study, the purpose of this study is to evaluate the performance of the novel deep learning tool for uh, fully automated measurement of the paraspinal muscle from MRI. So we use the 40, uh, 400 air spine MRI and train set was 280 MRI and test set was uh, 120 set uh, MRI and the uh, external validation 
was uh, performed <coughs> 50 MRI. Uh, yeah, we labeled the uh, seven area. So uh, we uh, one uh, green area is multifidus, and the yellow area is electrospinae, and the red area is swath muscle, and the blue area is quadrus lumborum, and the sky blue region is a uh, uh, vertebra, and purple is a uh, nerve, and pink is a uh, fat. So, yeah. And we, uh, our team, our research team, labeling the horse spine, uh, spine extra, uh, MRI. So we use the three plus unit in this architecture. So left side uh, picture is a daikon fire, a T2 axial image, and the middle uh, picture is a picture detected by uh, AI. And the light uh, picture is a combination of the two. So I show you the uh, program. So we uh, first we prepare the T2 axial image as a daikon fire, and then uh, the program recognize the daikon fire. And so they uh, AI detected the horse uh, paraspinal muscle and. Uh, they uh, analyze the volume of the paraspinal structure yeah, in this graph. So the accuracy of detecting structure around the spine is 97%. So yeah, it is very interesting result. So we analyzed the uh, 60 people with a similar BMI and uh, we divided the, the sarcopenic and non-sarcopenia uh, with DEXA. But uh, the paraspinal muscle volume was opposite to each other. So perhaps uh, the reason of the, uh, that the sarcopenia is defined by DEXA uh, measure the muscles, the extremities. So uh, it is not, uh, DEXA reflect the, uh, the paraspinal muscle directly. So maybe, uh, we have to measure the paraspinal muscle for the spine surgery. The last topic is um, machine learning for predicting mechanical complication after a sur surgery. Yeah, uh, this is a very interesting paper. And in 2021, uh, Professor Ames and, uh, reported the AI in for other spinal deformity, a current state and future direction. So, yeah, yeah. He uh, showed uh, yeah some interesting program for the predicting the mechanical complication after AS surgery. So now previously there are many uh, parameters for the uh, ideal lumbar rhodosis, and uh, so it is very famous so SRS swap classification. And uh, uh, Professor Rafaji uh, uh, reported the. Uh, uh, spinal pelvic alignment with the uh, AG. And uh, in 2017, uh, Professor Ilgar uh, reported the gap score. And 2020, uh, our research team reported the uh, gap system. And the gap system is an upgrading model created by the combining uh, BMI and BMD in gap score. Yeah. So we compare the uh, 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 other uh, scoring system, the gap A is uh, superior th other than the uh, score system. So uh, the, this uh, project is uh, the purpose of this study is to create an ideal model for machine learning, uh, predicting mechanical complication, AS surgery with gap B. So in this study, 238 patients included in study. So this is a result. First, uh, we had uh, performed the rhodosis regression and BMD and relative lumbar rhodosis score are risk factors for uh, predicting mechanical complications and gradating boosting and BMD and BMI and uh, relative lumbar rhodosis score are risk factors. And uh, we do the random forest, uh, BMD and BMI and relative lumbar rhodosis score are risk factors. So DNN was uh, performed, and we <coughs> compared the uh, the model in the training set. The random forest is superior other than the model, 
and test the set, the random forest is also a superior. So it is a graph uh, comparing the other uh, model. So a uh, random forest is the most appreciated model for the uh, predicting uh, mechanical complication and surgery. So yeah, we published in the Neurospine this year. So I think, uh, yeah, in conclusion state, uh, I think uh, last year, uh, last in the last, in the past time, uh, we used the uh, patient chart, but in this area is uh, using the dim running. So uh, we are, will be friendly, fam friendly and familiar uh, with the medical AI platform. So uh, I introduced my uh, AI research team and we divide the three, uh, we have a three team and clinical data collection team and uh, develop AI program team and the radiology data collection and leveling team. So uh, yeah, this is uh, my uh, experience and I do the uh, AI running data construction project in 2021. And the, the title of the topic, uh, topic is a bone mineral dense data construction project. And uh, last year, I do the malignant tumor data construction project. Yeah, I do that. And uh, I, I have some patent for the, this AI program. Yeah, so <laughs> it is a USA patent. Yeah, <laughs> I wanna uh, collaborate with you. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, I uh, transferred the, uh, my patent to the company. Yeah, this year. So yeah, thank you for your attention.